Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest release of one of the most visually stunning Linux distros out there, Deepin23. If you're a fan of eye candy customizations and a sleek user interface, you're going to love what this new version has to offer. So, let's break down all the cool AI-powered features and improvements that Deepin23 brings to the table. First off, for those of you who might not be familiar, Deepin is a Debian-based distribution that's known for its gorgeous desktop environment. The Deepin Desktop Environment, or DD, is what really sets this distro apart from the rest. It's elegant, it's smooth, and it's packed with features that make your daily computing experience just a bit more delightful. So, what's new in Deepin23? Well, there's a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. One of the big highlights in Deepin23 is the introduction of Wayland support. Now, I know, Wayland isn't exactly a household name, but it's a modern display server protocol that offers better performance and security compared to the older X11. With Wayland, you'll notice a more responsive and smoother user experience, which is especially great if you're working on a high-resolution display or doing graphics-intensive tasks. And switching to Wayland is super simple. You can do it right from the login screen by choosing Wayland mode. Easy peasy. Next up, let's talk about Linglong. This is Deepin's new package format, designed to address some of the compatibility issues that arise from complex dependencies, something that other formats like Snap and Flatpak are also trying to solve. What's really cool is that Deepin's developers have gone the extra mile by introducing a Linglong repair tool. So if one of your Linglong applications bugs out after a system update, this tool will help fix it. They've also replaced some apps with their DB versions to sidestep any potential compatibility hiccups. You can explore all these packages right in the Linglong store. Let's not forget the terminal. Deepin23 has given the terminal app a nice upgrade, introducing a Thor mode animation display. It's not just for show, this feature enhances the user experience making the terminal more dynamic and fun to use. And for those of you who like to get serious work done, there's now a full screen mode that you can enter with the F11 key. Plus, you can now set the number of history rollback lines, which is super handy if you need to review long sessions of commands. Now, here's where things get really interesting AI-powered features. Deepin23 integrates UOS AI, adding some pretty smart capabilities to your everyday tasks. For instance, there's a new intelligent global search function that lets you search for anything from system settings to file contents, images, and more. It's like having your own personal assistant built right into your desktop. The Mailbox app also gets an AI boost, helping you draft emails, suggesting layouts, or even generating a new email based on what you've already written. And if that wasn't enough, the web browser in Deepin23 also includes AI-assisted features, allowing you to run prompts similar to what you'd see with Copilot. Another fun update in Deepin23 is the new user avatars. You've got a fresh selection of 2D, 3D, and even animal avatars to choose from, allowing you to customize your user account just the way you like it. It's a small touch, but it adds to the overall polished feel of the distro. But that's not all. Deepin23 also comes with a bunch of other improvements, like new wallpapers, an improved music app and support for the latest Linux kernels, 5.15 and 6.6. .6. Plus, they've integrated container tools like Podman and Docker, which is great news for developers out there. There are also various UI UX improvements and a fix for those annoying right-click issues in the Deepin store. And if you're into exploring the nitty-gritty details, you can always check out the official release notes for more insights.
So, there you have it deep in 23, packed with cool new features and a beautifully refined UI. Whether you're a long-time Deepin user or someone who's just curious to try something new, this release is definitely worth a look. If you're ready to give it a spin, you can download the latest release from their official website. And hey, if you do try it out, let me know in the comments how it goes. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Linux content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.